exclusive live radar and nine day forecast. So you'll know first, this is first alert weather. It was a hot one out there. 99 degrees today, the hottest we've been so far this year, but there's some relief coming in. So some good news there. If you're tired of the heat, Mother Nature will help us out. Now we have a couple of storm chances here as we go through the weekend tomorrow morning. That'll mainly be north of the metro. So northern Missouri and northern Kansas, I think you will see a better chance of thunderstorms to get your Saturday started. We'll keep an eye on if any of those will be on the stronger side in northern Missouri tomorrow morning. And then Sunday morning, I think storms will be more likely for the Kansas City metro and areas a little farther south. So most of the metro, we're probably going to stay dry tomorrow. But on Sunday, I think we'll finally get some rain and that will help make it notably cooler. And I'll show you those temperatures here on the nine day in about three minutes. Right now, we've got some hazy sunshine looking towards the west from our tower camera. 97, that's our current temperature. And look at the heat index. Feels like 109 degrees. And that is why we had that excessive heat warning for today. And you see our temperature verified that. Our heat index verified that as well. 96 in Lee Summit, 98 for Olathe. It's still 104. And these are the temperatures. 104, our temperature for Ottawa, same in Lawrence, 102 in Leavenworth, 95 in Liberty and Cameron, 99 for Warrensburg and Sedalia. Factor in that heat, or excuse me, that humidity with the heat, you get the heat index. And it feels more like 111 in Leavenworth, 104 for Olathe and Belton, 102 in Lee Summit, 111 for St. Joseph and Cameron. So still at a dangerous level. A few more hours will have those heat index values staying above 100. It'll eventually feel just a touch cooler. We'll just say not as hot by late this evening. So we'll drop the alert at that point. Temperatures cool back into the 80s. Heat index levels cool back into the 90s and dry weather for us this evening. Now, as we head towards the morning hours tomorrow, thunderstorms which are developing up to our north and west across parts of north central Kansas and Nebraska. Some of those will try to move in tomorrow morning mainly in northern Kansas and northern Missouri. So Hiawatha, St. Joseph, Cameron, Chillicothe, mainly if you draw a line there and to the north, you'll see better chances for rain and storms in the morning. Tomorrow there could be some gusty winds. So we'll be watching radar for you farther south in the metro and area southward, looking like we're going to mainly stay dry. If anything, we can at least hopefully get some clouds for our morning hours. More sunshine comes out in the afternoon, which will heat us up, but those morning clouds should keep us a little bit cooler than today. So 70s and 80s early storms mainly to the north. Then during the afternoon, we do have another excessive heat warning for tomorrow. So another alert day heat index levels with that high humidity get back up near 105. But our actual air temperatures instead of being closer to 100 more so hanging out in those lower to middle 90s. Now areas in northern Missouri, and northern Kansas, upper 80s and low 90s for you. You'll have more clouds and rain to help keep you a little cooler, but it will be rather humid for the afternoon around the metro middle 90s. Heat index levels up near 105 and then farther south where you get more of that sunshine closer to 100 degrees for Garnett pale over towards Butler, Clinton and Warrensburg. So more heat for tomorrow, but then rain and thunderstorms on Sunday. So we go from an alert day tomorrow because of the heat to an impact day on Sunday because of morning showers and thunderstorms and cooler temperatures 89 for a high. We can take that. Monday through Thursday next week, we'll have storm chances each morning. High temperatures near 90 on Monday and Tuesday. We might bump up into the mid 90s for Wednesday and Thursday. Then we're back in the 80s, feeling cooler and less humid for next weekend.